Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be doing a pack break video this morning. I got a bunch of packs here that I got at bargain prices off of um, eBay. For those of you that didn't or hadn't seen my um, eBay breaks video where I showed getting these packs, um, I bought all these from the same seller. I basically got these right here uh, in a two-pack two lot deal. It was uh, one on eBay uh, for an 80-cent bid, free shipping, so 40 cent a pack on these. There are two packs of 2013 Panini score, um, and these were two different lots, but all together, it was four packs of 2008 uh, Upper Deck Football Heroes, and I got them for, it was a dollar and 12 cent uh, total bid, that's shipping and all, because um, I actually won each one of these for a penny plus 55 cent shipping, so that's 56 cent um, a lot, and that's what I won both lots for that were on for about 15 minutes apart and so four packs for a dollar and 12 cent you really can't beat and all together a dollar and 92 cents six packs of football cards i'm going to do a, a pack break video here and see what we get in these i will say um that I, I haven't really done a lot of research to find out what was in these sets yet but i do know that there's chances to pull rookie autograph cards out of these chances to pull um hall of fame legends autographs out of these now, I will say I'm probably not going to pull a Hall of Fame autograph legend um, out of these. The um, rates on these, um, actually, it doesn't even tell on the pack. Um, it probably tells, um, it probably told on the box itself that they come in that the dealer had pulled these out of. But um, let me see if I can get down in here. No, all this is telling you is like an official entry to try to win Super Bowl tickets from that year. But at any rate, um, there is, a, from what I'd seen, um, I did uh, look online, there is a chance that you possibly, probably one in a million packs, pull a Hall of Famer like Walter Payton or something, rookie card. I mean, not a rookie card, but an autograph card. And these right here, rookie autographs and these are pretty uh, much one per eight packs. So once every eight packs, you could possibly pull an autograph rookie from 2013 NFL draft. Thing of it is... Uh, they didn't just do autographs for, you know, the first round or something. Um, they they pretty much, you know, you might, if you do find an autograph rookie, it might be from a guy that was drafted in the late rounds, didn't even make the team. So you never know. But we're going to bust into these and we're going to see what we get. Uh, as always, whatever cards I do get out of these packs, no matter what they are, they're going to my nephew anyway. Um, and um, I just like to do this for the fun of it. I know a lot of you out there like to... Um, uh, watch pack break videos um, and um, I was looking for something cheap that I could do a pack break video on uh, That was something a little bit older. I, I don't want to just go down here at Walmart and buy brand new packs and do a pack break Plus they're more expensive and um, I'm looking for bargains on eBay as you can see in my eBay breaks videos and um, So I, I like to try to find if I can a little bit older cards uh, the other last week I done a pack break video on some 94 skybox impact and so here we go. I'm um, going to open these. And um, this first pack here is actually, these are uh, right uh, pretty cards. The first card on top is a John Elway, who is in the Hall of Fame. Um, Denver Broncos, uh, all-time great. I, don't, I didn't expect to get a lot out of these packs as cheap as they went for. Uh, right here is a card. I don't know why it's in a football set. It says Guitar Hero Steve Vai. Um, right here is, um, Matt Ryan. This just would have been a, a rookie, I'm assuming. Yep, rookie heroes, it says on the back. And I don't really, um, think Matt Ryan should be in a football all-time great set. But, um, anyway, he is. Here's another rookie, Felix Jones. Not an autograph rookie, just rookies. Um, Marion Barber the third, Dallas Cowboys. And Derek Anderson, who is surely not a football hero in my mind, Cleveland Browns. Derek Anderson, the only the only real football hero out of this pack, to be honest with you, would be the first card, John Elway, on the front. The rest of those guys, as far as I'm concerned, are common players and have no business being in a pack of cover, a set of cards considered uh, called football heroes or anything else that has to do with um, all time greats. They might have been heroes for a time. But um, John Elway is the only legend in that uh, pack right there. So moving on to pack two here, we'll see what we get. The John Elway card, 
like I said, I, I, on average, dollar and twelve cent for four of these packs here. I got them for basically twenty three cent a pack, and so that's a bargain price. And um, like I said, all these cards are going to my nephew uh, anyway. Rullian Gardner, and I don't. This says sports heroes. I don't believe that that would be a football player even. This is a kind of a weird set here, apparently. Um, Jim McMahon, Chicago Bears. And, you know, Jim McMahon's not a living legend by any means. Jim McMahon, what he was back in the 80s, was a very talented quarterback who was the starting quarterback on a Chicago Bears team that won a Super Bowl in 86. And uh, he's remembered for that. Um, but he was never a Hall of Fame caliber quarterback. If anything, the rest of his career besides that one year or maybe one other season was pretty much a disappointment he was kind of like a flash in a pan he was more talk and uh, <laughs> more talk and show than he was overall uh, you know talent ability and um, get you know it's kind of like one of those uh, stories this is a uh, Shedrick Ellis here this would have been a rookie uh, rookie coming into this set Fred Davis another rookie uh, Tony Romo who actually it's funny. Dallas Cowboys needed a quarterback. Tony Romo was like an undrafted rookie. Turned into um, what they thought was their franchise savior. And um, now, right now, Tony Romo is actually out of a job. He got hurt, and um, he's currently no longer in a job. Here is a beautiful card, a portrait card of a uh, Wes Walker, New England Patriots. And um, that's pretty much all for this pack. So I guess... The Wes Walker and the Jim McMahon were the best cards in this pack, and neither, uh, not really any football legends like I was expecting to get out of this pack, although Wes Walker would be considered uh, pretty much, you know, the best player in this pack. Um, the um, McMahon, to get back to him, McMahon, uh, like Romo, kind of uh, players who um, got a lot of hype, got a lot of press, and uh, McMahon, especially McMahon, was a higher draft pick, but uh, he was actually drafted. But uh, both of them were kind of like more more hype than talent, put it that way. McMahon actually was very talented. He just never um, never turned into a you know he he wasn't the field general type that a John, Joe Montana or John Elway or Dan Marino or somebody like that was. But um, I mean, he had talent. He was just like he was more about having fun than putting up uh, winning teams. And, um, you know, the year he won a Super Bowl, um, he was actually surrounded by a team that was loaded with talent and best defense in football time. This next pack, Jackie Joyner Kersey. Not really a football legend, but a sports hero. I can see that. Ken Stabler, portrait card. And I believe Stabler made it to the Hall of Fame now, and I'll tell you the truth, I'm kind of surprised at that. Stabler, they called him the snake, I believe. He was a, he was a, one of my dad's favorites back in the 70s for the Oakland Raiders. Um, but Stabler, in my opinion, is not a elite, was never an elite dominant quarterback. He was a very good quarterback. But anyway, Allie Highsmith, this would have been a rookie. He's in his LSU uniform. Um, here is DJ Hall, another rookie. Um in this pack and, and then football heroes David Garrett and the best packs uh, card out of any of these packs so far is probably if you was looking to uh, resell value right now Adrian Peterson Minnesota Vikings and Peterson is a pop still a very popular player today that's why I say probably the best card out of those packs so far to resell right now as far as long term value I would say the Elway is the best but uh these cards are going to my nephew, and I, I know he, he'll probably like the Peterson. And the, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not really expecting to get a whole lot out of these packs. It was something cheap. 28 cent a pack, you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? I mean, um, you, you can't. Because um, I'm sure the Elway alone surely would get you, get you back that much and more on an eBay bid if you wanted to put it up for auction. And uh, probably the Ad Adrian Peterson as well. McMahon, just because of his hype back in the 80s to the right fan they would probably pay that much as much as i pay for one pack for just that card um i see things like that happen here's uh paul horning this is a old school football player um 
nice card right there. And I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Tommy Iomi. Guitar Heroes. To me, that's like kind of kind of a stupid card to have. To be honest with you, stupid card to have in a football set. I mean, they wanted to put that in here. Guitar Heroes. That's the second one I found in these packs. Xavier Adi. I don't know. I'm butchering his name, I'm sure. But it's one of the rook, uh, rookies. That was a Virginia Tech rookie. And I should. I, I, I don't know how to say that guy's name. He's from Virginia Tech. Played right up the hill from me. Jacob Tammy from Kentucky, another rookie. DeMarcus Ware, there's a name you've heard of. Dallas Cowboy fans or Dallas Cryboy fans. And Wes Welker, New England Patriots. Okay, DeMarcus Ware was all but probably the biggest name out of that pack. Um, again, a dollar and twelve cent. The John Elway alone, I'm sure, would bring a dollar uh, on eBay. So, you know. If you get one card out of these packs that only have six cards a pack, you you know that that will get you your pack value back. You're doing pretty good. When you only give 28 cent a pack, you got a bargain anyway, you know. But um, I just like I said, thought it would be something that we could uh, break into um, and do a pack break video and a little bit older cards. Those were 2008 upper deck, and um, you know thought it would be kind of cool. Uh, my these cards will more than likely go to my nephew, all of them. Um, probably here the next time I see him and um, because unless I forget to give them to him because I'll lay these up here on a shelf and uh, when I see him again they'll go to him I'm trying to get these out of the top here um, and uh, trying not to tear the pack all to pieces because a lot of times I'll slide the cards right back down in the pack after I do a pack break a video and then give them to my nephew in the pack um, keeps them from being loose and me scattering them around everywhere. Here's a Green Bay Packers, Randall Cobb, Randall Cobb, and these are the 2013 Panini score. We're getting more into a, um, you know, standard football issue. Eli Manning, New York Giants, everybody's football fans heard of him. Here's another uh, player that's a pretty good player, Chicago Bears, Matt Forte, been on Long time running back in the league. Um, Brandon Pettigrew, tied in Detroit Lions. Um, let's see here. Tavarius Jackson, Buffalo Bills. Um, Jared Cook, St. Louis Rams. Sorry about that. Video sideways on this car. I mean, the picture sideways. Here's Blaine Gabbett, Jacksonville Jaguars. Rondé Barber, who was at one time one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Andy Dalton, Cincinnati Bengals. Second year card. And here is uh, rookie Denard Robinson running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, not an autographed rookie, but it is a rookie. That's the rookie for this pack. And here is uh, Santonio San Holmes, New York Jets, a guy that had a lot of potential, but he's never really been a complete superstar. And Miami Dolphins, Ryan Tanner Hill. Okay, that's more your standard looking football cards there. It's kind of disappointed with those Upper Deck Heroes packs because, to be honest with you, outside of the first card that I pulled out of that first pack, Joe Montana, I mean, uh, John Elway, most of those cards not even football players, and to me, that's just, you know, why put, you know, if I wanted to buy uh, pictures of celebrities for my nephew, I would have went out here and looked online for pictures of celebrities, you know, I'm looking for football cards, why in the world would Upper Deck waste their time, and I've seen, it, they're not the only ones, I've seen Topps, Allen, and Jenner doing celebrities in the middle of a baseball issue, insert cards of celebrities, you know, I mean, what they're doing, I don't, I don't really get their a idea because if I'm a sports fan and I'm buying sports cards, or if there's a kid out there that's a sports fan buying sports cards, they want baseball or football cards or whatever sport they like, whether it be hockey or basketball. They don't want cards of people that they, they could care less about because they're they're buying these packs because they like sports, not because they want to see some picture of a guitar hero. Um, anyway, that's my opinion. Reggie Bush with the Miami Dolphins. Reggie Bush's career has really been pretty much a disappointment for a guy that was so hyped up out of college. Marquise Colson, 
New Orleans Saints. Uh, Santana Moss, who was a big-time receiver for a while there. That's for the Washington Redskins. Demarius Thomas, Denver Broncos. Um, let's see here. Jared Cook again. St. Louis Rams, same card out of the last pack. This is another one I like. Blaine Gabbert, Jacksonville Jaguars. So a little bit of the, that's funny how that worked out. Rondé Barber, who was also in the last pack, exact same card, three doubles, back-to-back -back packs. Here's a, I know I'm going to butcher this guy's name. Bowen, Bowen Werner, Indianapolis Colts, I guess. That's the rookie. Um, and he was drafted in the first round. I just don't quite remember the I don't quite remember how to pronounce that name. Um, I don't keep up with football like I did when I was a kid. Tony Romo, again, another Tony Romo. A little bit different because the other one was in the older set. Here's another rookie in this pack. Not an autograph, but Chance Warmack. Um, Tennessee Titans. And franchise player Jamal Charles, Kansas City Chiefs. And Doug Martin, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, not really any big time names out of any of these packs other than the John Elway in the first pack and the Adrian Peterson, but, um, all together for a dollar 92 cents, six packs of football cards. Um, that wasn't that bad of a deal. Um, you go to Walmart, of course, you know, even if you find older packs that they have in what they call a bargain bin, you know, you're going to pay more than I did per pack on these by far. And so um, I didn't mind getting those. Um, it, was, it was a bargain buy. And these cards, you know, my nephew will be happy with them. And uh, and uh, especially the star players that came out of them. I hope to get some more um, older packs, uh, little older packs to do some pack breaks uh, again in the near future. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a beautiful day outside this morning. Uh, sunny. And I thought I would, uh, I was outside walking around. And I thought I'm just going to go back in the house and get the computer and do a quick pack break video. Because I, I happened to remember that I had got those yesterday in the mail and um anyway i hope you enjoyed it i hope to be back with you soon and if you enjoyed this video please like and share uh whether you use facebook twitter pinterest you can share this video with your friends if you think they would like it and if you if you're uh into pack break videos or sports cards videos uh and you know feel free to subscribe you, you'll be able to get notifications when i upload new videos and I'm uploading new videos every week. And um, I also have a lot of other categories. I've got into a little bit of a comedy videos as well as uh, I do click sense videos because I work online through that company. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel. Hope you all have a great day and see you again real soon.